Welcome to mobile application tutorials. My name's Nigel. I'm going to introduce a new Kotlin on Android tutorial series here, and that's going to explain how you can share data between Android fragments. We're going to be setting up two fragments. The first fragment's going to be using a video intent just to start a video application to record a video for us, and that video will return a URL. URI and that URI is going to be used and shared between the Android fragments and the second fragment we're just going to implement a video view player just to play back the video and it's going to be passed the URI from the main activity back down to the fragment so in effect we're going to be sharing that URI between two fragments one for capture and one for payback and there will be a third episode where we use the view model to do what the above two episodes were doing in the first Kotlin episode we'll be creating a fragment that has an interface and that interface will be passing the URI from the video application that's returned from the video application it'll be passing that URI from the fragment back up to the calling activity using its interface and the listener that will have been implemented. And then inside the main activity itself, we do need to implement the fragment interface. And from there, in this tutorial, we'll just dis display the output of the video URI. In the second Kotlin episode, we'll be creating another fragment. And from the main activity, we're going to pass the URI down to that second fragment. And that URI will be passed into the fragment arguments value set into that by using a passable. And once the fragment does get created, we can then retrieve the URI value during creation. And that URI will then be available for use in the fragments video view player. And in the third and last Kotlin episode of this series, we show you how you can share data between fragments using the view model. So what we do in this episode is first remove all the fragment arguments and interface code from the previous two tutorials. And then we move on and we create a view model class. Once that class has been created, it's just a matter of uh, creating an instance of that class in both the video intent fragment and the video view fragment. So inside the video intent fragment, once we've got that uh, view model instance, it's just a matter of setting the URI to the member value in the view model class. And then inside the video view fragment, we can then get that video URI value from the view model instance as well using the same sort of methodology. And so this does simplify things quite a bit. And also within the video intent fragment, we do show you how you can replace a fragment inside the actual fragment itself. So you don't actually need to replace fragments from inside an activity. You can do that inside a fragment as well. And so that will basically conclude it. And with the conclusion, I basically give my thoughts on which method I think is best to use. The traditional method of using fragment interfaces and arguments or the new Android view model. And spoiler alert, you're going to want to use the view model for sharing data between fragments. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this series. Bye for now.